irreplaceable record of classic American theater. Leonard Malton has the details for us now. Leonard. Well, John, these home movies are remarkable, but they would have remained remarkable to one man and his immediate family if they hadn't eventually found the right home, the Institute of the American Musical here in Los Angeles. It's an amazing repository of books, records, photos, clippings, and films related to that uniquely American form of entertainment, the musical comedy. The Institute has preserved thousands of items relating to Broadway and Hollywood, but none are as incredible as this. Imagine sitting 10th row center for some of the greatest Broadway musicals of the past 55 years. Well, you'd have to imagine it until now, because these films let you see what it was like. All because of an enthusiastic amateur cameraman named Ray Knight. We continue to shoot about 175 musical excerpts. They're silent and they're brief, but from a little tiny sampling of each musical number, you get a sense of what the full musical number was like, and then, moreover, you get a sense of what the entire show was like. Here's a look at the great rubber-legged Ray Bolger in the 1942 Rodgers and Hart musical by Jupiter. At the curtain call, Bolger and his co-stars even spot the cameraman in the audience. Yes, that's Nanette Fabre right next to Bolger. Cole Porter's Anything Goes is a hit all over again on Broadway today. But here's an unprecedented opportunity to see what Ethel Merman looked like in the original Smash production of Anything Goes back in 1934. It's fitting that this material should now reside with Miles Kruger at his Los Angeles-based institute. This collection of musical memorabilia is second to none in the world. And Kruger, an author, scholar, and Grammy-nominated chronicler of this best-selling album, is probably the world's leading musical buff. But even he gets excited every time he sees this home movie material. It's uh, extraordinary, imagine for me as a, as a theater historian, to have dreamed of seeing these productions and then meeting Ray Knight as I did in the late 1960s and suddenly flashed on a screen are Ethel Merman and William Gaxton singing You're the Top, George M. Cohan doing his numbers from I'd Rather Be Right, Ed Wynn in Hooray for What. By the 1950s, Ray Knight's footage was looking better and better. And here's one of his real gems, footage of the 1954 hit, The Boyfriend, and an early glimpse of Julie Andrews in her Broadway debut. Six years later, and Julie Andrews is a leading musical star, playing opposite Richard Burton in Camelot. Knight caught all the pageantry of this learner in low success. What a treasure trove, and what a gift to everyone who loves the American musical. Incredible. Musical scholars and fans everywhere owe a great debt to Miles Kruger and the Institute of the American Musical for saving material like this and, of course, for sharing it with us. It gives me goosebumps to see all that footage. Gosh. What a treasure trove. Thanks, Leonard. Mm -hmm.